I'm like I always ask you, just general observation from today. You know what? I, I thought it was good. I mean, I thought Armani came back out and um, had a better day today. You know, I mean, a little bit more in there. You know, um, I thought the defense was doing a good job playing with the energy. Gave up a couple of big plays. I know Coach will go and talk about that. But did a pretty good job sustaining all the way through. You know, got to clean up the pass protection a little bit. We had some really good plays, but we got off schedule a little bit at times. Pass protection broke down. So, you know, it's one of those deals. It's, you know, it's day four. We're progressively getting better. You're seeing some good and bad on both sides of the ball. So you want a little bit of that give and take. You know, you just, you just want to see it clean up from practice to practice and get better and better and better. A little beat up on the offensive line right now. Brayton went out today and nothing serious, but he, we didn't have him. And then obviously with Julio being out and Justice being out, a little low, a little thin there. But thank goodness for all injuries that those guys will be back for in the fall. You want to, Mike? Yeah, with the, uh, you just mentioned the O-line. With the, the, the coaching changes, yeah. is anything philosophically changed or technically anything changing? Or do you want to just keep things, you know, the same well, considering the success you've had? You, 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 a little bit of both, you know. I mean, uh, Garen's a really good coach, and even you know the job that he did, uh, you know, his last place, and it's one of the reasons he got the Arizona job. I mean, he's a really good coach, and uh, you know, you got to let your guys do it their way, their style. Obviously, within our scheme and what we're doing, but he's brought some really good ideas, and we've incorporated some of those into our offense. And again, you know, if you did a really good job last year, you know, and, and he was a big part of that. So um, we're allowing him to bring in things that are going to make us look better. And, you know, he critically looks at it, and, and obviously, we're doing a lot of really good things there too. So I think those two things merge and give us a chance to grow and you know we don't want to be the same every year and, and I think his attention to detail um, he's a little bit different um, than our last coach at that position They're both really good coaches but he just approaches it a little bit differently and I think it's been a good uh, good deal for the guys what are the injuries to Brayton and, uh, and well Brayton's got a foot stepped on so I don't know we'll, we'll find out a little bit later about that Justice had an ACL surgery um, last week and there was uh, uh, Garcia Garcia yeah back we're just precautionary he's out here moving around we're just keeping him out of stuff right now and we're limiting Singer a little bit coming off the injury from last year he got a good couple days of practice and we're just limiting what he does in live situations so Ashton because you had, you had Ashton Morgan at left tackle is that just because the injuries right now not really I mean um, we're you know you Caldwell's played both. He started at both. The freshman, he started to tackle, moved him into guard last year. He's going to be a guy that can play both. But Ashton, you know, he's a guy that we redshirted. He's had a great offseason. Um, and he's a guy who's fighting. He's got a good chance to start at that left tackle. And what's going on with Kendall? Kendall had, um, he's having surgery on his uh, on, on his ankle and leg. So um, he, uh, he had a broken bone in it uh, last week. So it looks like about a three-month injury. So it's unfortunate. That guy's, you know, gone through a lot of stuff the last year and a half. But he just came down on it wrong and snapped one of the bones and uh, got a little injury in the ankle too. And when did that happen? Uh, last week. And when, when's the surgery or is it scheduled? Scheduled for this week. Okay. Uh, you were, with the, the rule they're discussing about redshirting where you don't lose a year. Yeah. Or, you know, playing with a, you can still redshirt. How valuable would it have been, say, last two year? Two years in a row. Two years in a row. I mean, yeah. you know, you look at the you know, end of last, the end of two years ago, and you know, all of a sudden now, Armani is the starting quarterback, and you got him going and rolling around out there. And that's a big difference. Last year, you know, when you're a little beat up up front, guys like Justice can come in and play Ashton Morgan, some of those offensive linemen. So, you know, we've had some um, un unfortunate injuries at, at different times, and, and this rule will address it. it. But it'll be that way for everybody. I think we all feel like that. And then at the same time, it might not even be an injury. It might be a kid that you really know you're going to redshirt and you know you just want to get him some action you know take him on a road trip or even at a home game and get him in on some special teams and you know by the end of the year you know when these guys come in a lot of times they're just mentally not where they need to be physically they're not far away but mentally they're not where they need to be so you so you sit down as a staff at the end of camp and say well you know is this guy really ready to help and contribute and they're not but then you get to week six and week seven they're picking it up now they're getting more comfortable being a college student being on campus and practicing and, and they're ready to help out well you don't want to burn a red shirt here. Now you're going to have the ability to play them. So I think it's going to be a real beneficial thing to the players and to the coaches. So and if we're really doing what's best for the players, this is what's best for those guys. And when you like someone like Armani last year, instead of Howard being his first start, that was like his third, fourth, maybe fifth start. How valuable would that have been? It would have been a little bit butterflies and nerves. It just helps you grow. How has the defense changed philosophically? Well, I mean, I think what we're doing right now is we're, we're doing a really good job of, of being, you know, sophisticatedly simple. Um, we're not doing a ton of different stuff right now. Our guys are doing a great job of communicating, getting lined up right, making their checks, um, and running to the football. And one of the biggest things that we've emphasized is, again, the tackling in space has been an issue. It was a really big issue last year with the safety position, you knowing the back end. <laughs> And uh, I think if we can continue to get better at that and, you know, and execute w without doing too much, I think we have a chance to be progressively better. Thank you, Coach.